The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is an absolutely incredible breed, known for their courageous nature, intelligence and love for companionship with their family. Although they're a very popular breed, they are not the right breed for everyone. The Staffy, like with all breeds, have many traits that you need to consider if you're looking to add one of these strong and powerful dogs to your home. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the positives and negatives to the breed to help you in making your decision. Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir, canineleaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Staffies. So if you're a lifelong Staffy lover, thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Staffy pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Staffy video. Right, let's dive into today's video where I will be sharing a few of the pros and cons of the incredible Staffordshire Bull Terrier. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the Staffy is an incredibly popular breed amongst many around the world. Many people look into getting a Staffy due to the common reputation of it being a very tough breed, however are surprised when they find out that the dog is actually a very sensitive and affectionate companion who loves to spend time playing with their family. Staffordshire Bull Terriers are wonderful family companions with their strong devotion to their owners, eagerness to please and love to play in interactive games. In particular, this breed is very good with children due to its patient and gentle personality. But as with all dogs, you should always be there to supervise when your small children are playing with the pup. They are very spirited and energetic dogs that will fit in well to an active family that can give their pup lots of attention and playtime in order for them to release their high amounts of energy. Obviously, as with all dog breeds, you must socialize and train your pup properly from a young age in order to have a well-balanced dog that gets along with all. Socialization is key if you're bringing your dog into a relatively busy household when there's new people coming around or other animals. Although the Staffy's living person personality is a very positive quality, this may be more of a con for you depending on your daily routine and lifestyle. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is an incredibly people oriented dog breed and does not tolerate being left on their own and can even suffer from separation anxiety. Their sensitivity and strong devotion to their beloved human companions can cause this, so if you're looking for a dog that can be left alone then the Staffy is not going to be the right breed for you. You can train your dog to be left alone for very short periods of time as long as you start training them from a young age. On the subject of training, with the Staffy you need to be prepared to start training them from day one. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, I just wanted to quickly let you know if you didn't know already I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behaviour. As a canine behaviourist I've put this together with my years of experience experience, skill set and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behaviour that are important for you to become a high level canine leader and then you can fix your dog's problem behaviours at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviours. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behaviour, there'll be a link down in the description box below and I can't wait to see you over on that course. They need handling with a firm but fair hand and need plenty of socialization since as a breed they have been known to be inherently wary of other dogs due to being originally bred to fight other dogs and can sometimes be aggressive if not properly trained and socialized. However, every dog is different in temperament and the more you socialize your pup from an early age with other dogs and strangers, the more confident and less wary they will be as they grow older. The Staffy is a small to medium sized dog with a short and easy care coat. The fur is smooth and short and lays close to the skin. Their coat sheds annually but hair loss throughout the year is very minimal. Plus, dirt most often brushes out of their coat very easily and their fur dries very quickly after being in water. In order to remove any loose hair, it is recommended that you brush your Staffy at least once a week. This will reduce how much you find around the house. Overall, the Staffy is very low maintenance on the grooming front, which could be exactly what you're looking for. Depending on how active you are in your daily life, the amount of exercise a Staffy needs could be either a pro or a con to you. They are a high energy active breed that need a minimum of one hour of energetic exercise each day. The more exercise that you're able to give your Staffy, the more relaxed they will be in the home, having released their energy on a long walk. They are impressively athletic dogs with a muscular build and have actually been known to easily jump tall fences without much effort at all. Being intelligent dogs, they also need a lot of mental stimulation to prevent boredom, which, as an owner, you will need to be able to provide. It's really important to make sure that before getting a pup, that you know all of the key facts, the pros and the cons regarding the breed that you're looking at to make sure that you are able to care for them in the way that they need. Savage Bull Terriers can be prone to hip and elbow dysplasia, bone disorders, cataracts, skin conditions, and allergies. These are important to be aware of, especially if you do not feel that as an owner you could care appropriately for your dog if they become subject to any major health issues. 
The Staffy is an incredible dog breed with plenty of love and devotion to their human companions along with a lively and active personality. However, it is important to consider both the pros and the cons to a breed before deciding if they're the pup for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Staffy videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Staffy Show.